Hi Patrick here, have Cheetah Will View, and uh, it's Tuesday, and if it's Tuesday, that could only mean one thing, it's library day. So, um, I got up, got ready, and I went down to the library because it's bag sale week. Uh, bag sale week is when you go down with a bag, or you go in with a bag, and whatever you can fill in the bag, you can get for $6.00. So, if things are really, really good, you could do really, really good. If they're not, well, it's always next month. Uh, so, this one caught me a little bit by surprise. Um, because when I walked in, the section that I had all the recent releases, it wasn't in this usual spot. So, I thought that they didn't get anything in again this week. Uh, they did have a couple of carts. And there was some stuff on the already on the shelves that I was hoping that they would have survived so I could get it. And the good news is, yes, uh, they did. And the bad news was they moved the new releases back down where they used to be. And I didn't find that out until way after the fact. So whatever new releases they released this week for the library, from, you know, from the library, I don't know because the resellers got to it before me. That sort of sucks. <laughs> But I did okay anyway off the cart that they had. Uh, I did okay. I, I'm not complaining. Um, I got some good stuff. So uh, let's get into it. So uh, just a couple of Blu-rays. Uh, not not you know not very many Blu-rays for sure. Uh, but I'll show you what I got. So recently it was noted that uh, Blue Sky Studios has closed the stores. Uh, they were the folks behind the Ice Age. Uh, series and um, and we f they were a good studio, a good a good animation studio. In fact, the very last thing they did before they closed the doors, they released a short film uh, with Scrat, the little squirrel dinosaur from uh, Ice Age. You know, he was always the one chasing the acorn and always having you know disaster befall him. Well, as a as as a gesture of kindness to Scrat. They allowed him to, to finally have his acorn and eat it too. So that was a really sweet goodbye. Um, but one of the movies they put out and I found is uh, a movie called Epic. So don't know anything about it. It looks really fun. So uh, I picked this up from Blue Sky Studios. So these will be going out of print relatively soon. Um, because the studio is going out of business. Uh, so no more. Uh, next I got, uh, Encanto from Disney. So, uh, yeah, I was surprised to get that. So, pretty happy. I didn't think that would survive till, uh, till today, but it did. So, uh, and after a long absence, a very long absence, they have, they actually got some anime in. Now, they had a ton of anime, but I went really light on it. I only went with what it looked to be complete and something I could watch. Uh, they had a ton of it out there, but I really don't know that much about the current crop, so I stayed away from it. Not to say I know a whole lot about this one, but this looks pretty epic right here, honestly. And I got the Ancient Magus Bride. So I got part one and I got part two. Now I'm not sure if this is a complete series or not. This is this is it or if it continues to go on. But I get did get part one and part two. And if you know anything about this, I would love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments down below. This is new to me. So um, I'm really hoping that's a complete, complete series. All right, uh, so those are the only Blu-rays that I got this today. I know I'm going in reverse, right? Um, well, I got some blue. I got some DVDs. Uh, I picked up Joyride with the late Paul Walker and Steve Zahn and Lily Slobisky. Boy, whatever happened to her? She was so, she's such a good actress, and the last thing I really remember seeing her in was a movie called The Night Train. And she was badass in that, too. I had that movie, as a matter of fact. And I think it's one of the last things she's done recently. So, if she retired early, she's missed. I hope she's having a, a great life. 
But this is Joyride. This is a great movie, a lot of fun, and very suspenseful. Uh, next up, I got an old sports movie. It's been out here for a long time. I see it a lot. So picking it up, you know, I was like, oh, okay, I don't think I have this movie. And lo and behold, I don't have this movie. And I picked up We Are Marshall with uh, Matthew McConaughey and, and, uh, and Matthew Fox. Uh, Ian Machane is in this. Anthony Mackie, Daniel Ray Jones. I mean, there's a the story is about the uh, the Marshall plane crash, which is a very very sad story. They lost their entire team in a in a in a, in a heavy rain. Uh, the pilots were they didn't have the current information on their flight plan, and they flew into a mountain and killed everybody on board. And uh, so this is a story about the, the team coming back and reestablishing itself, the school. So, which is why even today, you'll hear it. You'll hear the, the fans will sit there and say, we are Marshall. And they do it today to, in honor of the, of the team that, uh, that passed on. Okay, I got a documentary. Um, and I got a documentary and I got a documentary about Tina Turner called Diva. Which is really interesting because we were talking, she was just talking about Tina Turner, still saying how she still can kick ass, and she she got better. I think I think Tina Turner, in her last half of, of her career, was much better than the first half. The Tina Ike years are okay, but the Tina Turner now during the eighties, during the eighties and and, the, and up to the nineties, it's just amazing. Um, so many great songs, and she had pipes. Uh, let's see. Oh, I picked up, uh, I picked up, um, this is fun, too. I picked this up, say, in an animation, um, Scared Sh Shrekless. And, of course, this has all the, uh, uh, this is a uh, Halloween special. And it also has a music vi video of where they, uh, they, uh, uh, do the Michael Jackson Thriller song. So I have not seen this out and about in, at all. Uh, this is the first time I saw this video, uh, this this DVD. Saw the TV episode, but that was years ago. Uh, let's see. Next up, uh, I got a I got a pilot episode or a continuation uh, movie of uh, the Battlestar Galactica remake called Caprica. This might even been be. This is set probably. This is set before the series that aired. This is a prequel. So they made a prequel. So uh, this aired on the Sci Fi Channel when it came out. Okay, and I got one more film, and um, this is one of my very favorite movies. I've always loved this movie so much. Um, <laughs> got a long time, and. Yes, even before, I mean, for a long time when it came out, I watched it and I loved it. And, um, yeah, and, of course, it's one of those movies, like, I look at now and it's, like, it's really hard to watch now. But, um, I'd never seen it out in the wild. Uh, my buddy Catfish tried to get me a copy as a surprise. But the only thing that was a surprise was that what the seller sent him. He sent him, basically, um, it's like, like, like the cat owned it. It was um, unplayable. But I finally found a good copy at the library, and that is Life at the House. Um, I absolutely love this movie. Uh, Kevin Klein's one of his best performances. Mary Steensburg and uh, the lovely Jenna Malone. Uh, and uh, and old, an old, uh, uh, <laughs> that's right, old, young, uh, young uh, 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 Padme, uh, or Padma. Whatever you call a young Jedi, Hayden, Hayden Christensen is in this. So, you can tell I'm not a whole big Star Wars fan. I don't know all the names of the young characters. All right, so that's the uh, that's the movies and the DVDs. I did pick up a couple, t a few TV series. I picked up uh, four from three seasons. Um, and the first thing I picked up from the first season of, of the classic I Love Lucy. 
so I uh, got this in the, in the bag sale so uh, normally this would have cost me a lot of money even at the library but now this cost me less than less than 50 cents so I was really happy about that I uh, picked up the second season of Frasier I had the first season floating right here somewhere but I picked up the second season so this is one of the ones I was hoping to find. It, it's been out on the shelves for a minute. And instead of spending the $6 it would have charged, I just was, I gambled that the, it would still be there for dollar for bag sale. And it was, so I picked it up. All right. And the two, the two I got that I'm most happy about in this, in this haul, um, the one I was really happy, the, the two I'm really happy to get, and they were there. And normally they would have been long gone. I, I just, they just wouldn't have been there. Uh, they actually been there for three weeks. Three weeks, which I don't know what that tells me. It tells me I'm sort of like, I'm sort of, I'm happy that they were still there. I'm happy they were, but I'm a little concerned that they still lasted because this is a popular series and the fact that nobody, nobody picked it up is like nobody's going inside the bookstore. I don't know, but, but because normally this, these wouldn't have lasted out the week. But they lasted three weeks. And the first thing I'll show you is I got the third season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So uh, I got this is an old one too. See how big and bulky it is before they where they streamlined it. So this is a this is a yeah. See they had this one being sold for five dollars. So I got it for less than fifty cents. Uh, so I was happy to pick it up and then the, the other one that I got is I got the fourth season of Buffy This is once on the slim case, but I got the fourth season So like I said, I was a little bit um, I mean I was happy, but I'm a you know, I'm a little bit Because I don't like the idea. I sort of like the idea that there's people out there still buying physical media You know because to me it's like the more it moves in the bookstore uh, the better it is for everybody. It's no good. It's not good if they just can't sell stuff, you know, because eventually what I'm worried about is that they'll quit taking it. You know, like, why are we taking it if, if, it's, not, if it's not being sold? That's my biggest concern. <laughs> so, uh, when, the bikes been, uh, uh, when, when bag sale comes and there's stuff out there, I do damage if I possibly can. I want them to keep selling. So, that's my uh, that's my haul for this bag sale. Um, we'll be back there on Tuesday, and hopefully, next time I'll be ready for that. Everything's gonna be on the back wall, regardless, right? All right. Uh, well, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, uh, I do this haul video every Tuesday when I have when I have stuff. If you if you don't if you notice I don't post on Tuesday, that means I didn't go I didn't get anything from the library. Um, all right, well, that's it. Uh, I will hopefully I'll see some of you guys later on tonight uh, For our uh, eight questions with we're interviewing singer songwriter um, Emotion and that will be at eight o'clock Eastern time um, I'll leave the uh, I'll leave the, the description down below So even in replay you can go there and click on it and be taken to a fine interview All right. Thank you guys so much and um, yeah Hit the sub button, uh, share us out, um, let, us know, let me know about the anime series, if you know anything about it, and uh, we'll see you soon.